This is the final result of the gubernatorial elections. Chief Chidi Izuki, NCP, 480,301 votes. Dr. Kalu Emeze, 684,766 votes. Dr. Kalu Emeze is the elected executive governor of Abubra State. <laughs> We made it. I told you. <laughs> we are we are. Yes. We, made it. Ah. we don't invest <laughs> unless we know that we'll make it. Yes, my dear. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, <God. laughs> you were paid victory. You were paid victory. Victory. You were paid. My people, this calls for a special celebration. Yes. 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 <laughs> After me, I, I, Dr. Carlo Emezi, swear to act in the best interest of the people, swear to act in the best interest of the people, at all times, at all times, and under all circumstances, and under all circumstances, I hereby pledge, I hereby pledge, to uphold the constitution of the sovereign state of Abubra, to uphold the constitution of the sovereign state of Abubra, with dedication, with dedication, honesty, honesty, and selflessness, and selflessness, for as long as I remain in office as the executive governor, for as long as I remain in office as the executive governor, so help me God, so help me God.
My joy knows no bounds. Mm. The battle has been long and rough, but victory has gone to those who deserve it. <laughs> but that victory could not have been won without each and every one of you here. And as the chairman of the United National Party, I present to you the executive governor of Abubra State, who is none other than our own son, Dr. Kalu Emes. UNP! Victory! My people, may I express my sincere gratitude for your contribution to my success in the last elections. Yay. I thank all of you. Today, I want to repeat my mission statement. To make Abubra State better, to make Abubra State better, is a task that must be accomplished. Thank you. Not better schools alone. Not better roads alone. Not better health facilities alone. But better in every facet of life. UNP victory! Today, that statement is no longer a statement. It is a promise. UNP My people, let the celebrations continue. Get out! 
We have done it. Thank you. Thank you very much again. Well, you. please uh, sit down, lady and gentlemen. Please sit down. Sit down, please. Ah. <laughs> Where do we start from? <laughs> May I express my sincere gratitude for your immense contribution, both financially and otherwise, to the success of my election? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thank you very much. Um, well, I called you here to present to you my final list of commissioners for your approval. But I thought we had concluded discussions on that list. No, we agreed on a tentative list. And uh, since then, I've had some of them investigated. And um, I did not like what I had about them. I hope you did not touch the nominee of the Market Traders Association. Madam, your man for the Ministry of Trade is a certified thief. What? Who says? Is it not the same man who looted the State Cooperative Board a few years ago? Who cares? That is the man that will represent our interest. And what about the interest of the state? I hope you have not forgotten the over 40 million naira that was contributed towards your campaign funds. Not to talk of the mass mobilization of voters in your favor. Mr. New Governor, do not play with the market trader so. I say don't play with the market trader so. Who else are you not satisfied with? Commissioners for Works and Transport. It's a lie. You dare not touch those two. The Association of Registered Contractors spent over 120 million on your campaign. And I am their man. You cannot touch me. Look, Carlo, take that list and use it the way it is. You cannot touch anybody on it. I can't? No, you can't. You can manipulate party nominees only on the condition that the party allows it. It is true, Doctor. Leave the list as it is. Damn it! I have a state to administer and I will not, I will not pander to the interest of, of a few, of, of, of the few people who took the risk to invest in you. We put you in that seat, remember? Without us, you're nowhere. Not a failed gubernatorial as parent. That is it. So, Carlo, do not talk to us about having a state to run because we gave it to you. This, this is this is preposterous, incredible. This is this is outrageous. Listen, Your Excellency. We control the House of Assembly, and they have already been lobbied for that list you have there. Therefore, if you make any change, it must never be passed. Okay. Nobody is going to impose a chief of staff on me. Nobody. So, Dr. Arisi is out. You can't do that. I have done that. I can and I've done that. Reverend Tagbo is my chief of staff. All commissioners are answerable to him. Good day, gentlemen. You can't do that. You can't do that. Why do you do that? No, you can't. 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 No, wait. Please, calm down. That boy is taking the law into his hands. He's growing wings, and we must clip it. Now listen, I will talk to him. You better do, or... Please, please calm down. Please sit down. Don't worry, don't worry. 
Don't worry. Please sit down. Please sit down. Madame, please. What? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, 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 don't worry. I will talk to him. Please. Come on, please. Come on, please. Dr. Emezi, you just sat there and watched them dictate to me how to govern the state. All you did was to concur. Am I not the governor? Nobody said you are not the governor. But that you have to tread with caution. Nobody will tell me what to do. Never. Those people are very powerful people. And it will be very harmful to your political career if you tangle with them. Thieves, that's what they are. Thieves, all of them. They may be thieves. But they call the shots in this state and they always have. That's why the state is not progressing. Dr. Emezi, you have spent more than half your life in the United States. You know nothing, absolutely nothing about Nigerian politics. Those people may be thieves. They are rich and with their money, they can buy up the electorate which they did. And that's why you are here today. And they were not lying when they said they own more than half the state assembly. They financed their campaign they bought their loyalty completely. They can make life impossible for you. Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ. That's who they are. Dr. MSC. Don't mess with them. And you will remain governor. You can even get another term if you play your cards right. The budget is big. Just give them a little bit and they'll be satisfied. Good afternoon. You are the man in charge here, I guess. Uh, yes, sir. I'm Mr. Fred Amici. I'm the SAT engineer. It's a pleasure having you around, sir. The pleasure is all yours. I am not happy with your company. Why, sir? We are ahead of schedule, sir. And for the look of things, this project should be ready three months before time. I am not interested in when the project will be ready. I have been the commissioner for your supervising ministry for the past three months and I have not gotten any message from your office? That's a big slight on me. So we took out a full page congratulatory messages in three national dailies, sir. And how does that benefit me? Maybe I should tear the pages of those newspapers and eat them. Now, young man, tell your head office that if I don't get my 10% in the next one week, I will withdraw every Every project you are handling in this state, and I'll make sure you never get any again. Understood? Well, sir, we said to the former commissioner that awarded the contract. Maybe when I withdraw the contract, let him reinstate them. Sir, we are far from the next disbursement from the Ministry of Finance. The little money they gave us has all been used in buying cement and other materials to, con to complete the project. I determine when you get your next disbursement. Take care of me, and I will take care of the Ministry of Finance. Young man, have you ever seen where a man is chewing with one side of his mouth and the other stays still? That's a food for thought. Bosa! They are lovers of themselves, corrupt and rotten. <laughs> Go to cross and black men Out of order of the day Anger and murder Murder A 
that's taking over their minds. Enough is enough. This madness must stop. Enough is enough. We must stand and fight for our right. Enough is enough. Yeah. We must clean up the system. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This madness must stop. Enough is enough. We must stop this corruption. Excuse me, madam. Wait, madam. Wait. Excuse me. Sorry, sir. I told her that you are... Okay, were... okay. Ngozi, please, leave us. Uh, madam Abega, please sit down. What do I owe this visit? Do you remember how you got this post? Yes, madam. That is why forever I am indebted to you. Are you aware that the governor almost threw you out at the last minute? And then um, what, what did he call you again? What did he call um, a, a shameless thief? Oh, me. madam, we don't need to go into all Oh, yes, there is. Let me refresh your memory. How many millions have you stolen already? But that small thing, that small thing I asked you to do. But, madam, it's not my fault. It's the chief of staff. Then step over him. Take it to the governor. That's our man. How many times do I have to tell you that? But, madam, I can't. That means breaking protocol. If the state poultry is not privatized in two weeks, Two weeks, you won't be sitting on that desk. Tell the governor, I'll pay 10 million into his account if he signs the papers. Further perpetrate the full scarcity that has been on in the state. All filling stations are hereby mandated to remain closed. What about our black market operations? That can continue, but do not sell at less than 80 naira per liter. But, sir, what about people like me who have loaded from the depot? You should be able to answer that yourself. You either sell it there at the depot or you offload and hoard. I heard that the Association of Motor Owners are planning a demonstration. And the government might intervene soon. In that case, we might have to sell tomorrow. But we must not sell at less than 40 naira per litre. As long as there is fuel for them to buy, nobody will complain. Our only threat is the government. Fortunately for us, we have the governor in our pockets. Chief Oliver, please continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, now, with you in that file is a document detailing which filling station to sell fuel on each day. All filling stations that are, that are off on a particular day should remain closed. take us out. Um, yes, and we hardly see you. We miss you. And we miss you. Oh, I miss you. I miss you too. Huh? You see, Daddy is very busy right now. But I'll make our time to take you out. Okay? Alright? Yeah. So what do you do? Mm. Mm. Come on. Alright, guys. Let's go and get ready for bed. Nice. Don't forget to say.
You have been wearing a frown since you became the governor. I know you're not happy. Please talk to me. I failed. How? You won the election. You are governor. Governor. Governor that cannot stop the stealing and the looting. why I left my lucrative medical practice in America. I had a vision. I wanted to fight corruption, to genuinely help my people. Then darling, do it. It's within your power. I wish it was that easy. They are smart. Very smart. They had me suckered from the very beginning. They knew the public had caught on to them and they wanted a fresh face. Me. They offered me money and I accepted it. That was my mistake. anything. I am caught up in a trap. I just I I just watch them plunder the state and I can't I can't do anything. <laughs> Instead of changing them, they have changed me. It wasn't meant to be so. It wasn't meant to be so. Construction, I guess. Yes, sir. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Um, the management has directed me to give this to you, sir. Hoping that it will further strengthen the cordial relationship that is between us. Oh, that's very kind of them. A guy. Sir. Um. How much is that? Two million naira, sir. Oh. 
Oh, that's very kind of them. Well, I wish everybody could be this appreciative. It will make life much more easier. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> um, about the increased cost of the compressor. Yes, just present a revised quotation and I'll prove it. But, <laughs> don't forget my car. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you once more. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Guy, sir. please see him out. Enough is enough, nkemere mezugo. Ya ishem, otire wao. Enough is enough, nkemere mezugo. Where is this place, uh, quota of fertilizer? Otire wao. What do you mean there's no fertilizer? What happened to the state quota from NAFCO? Listen, my friend. I said, listen. I want to see you in my office now. I don't care who you are with. I want to see you in the office now. I don't want to sign anything now. How long has this gone on, Mr. Oji? Since the beginning of the year. Beginning of this year? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We must clean enough. up the system. Enough is enough. Can you repeat what you just told me? Oga Governor, I represent the Farmers Association. Through our cooperative society, we all paid money for government fertilizer, which was promised us. This fertilizer was supposed to have come months ago, but no. Our crops are rotting away in the ground, and every time they tell us it has not come, our counterparts in other states have received their own since. Well, Mr. Deputy Governor, you are in charge of procurement and distribution of fertilizer in this state. Where is the fertilizer? I thought you knew. Knew what? Where is the state's fertilizer? What happened to it? <laughs> You were aware. The party chairman took all the fertilizers for the party. Chief DK, fertilizer that I entrusted into your care. Listen, my friend, I don't care how you want to do this. You will get fertilizer for these farmers before the end of this week. But, but, but I can't do it. You can't do it. You will do that for your own sake, or else I will make such a media event out of it that you will not even wait to be impeached. Uh, listen, Oga, eh? don't worry, we will get fertilizer for you. Eh? Tell your people not to worry. Before the end of this week, we will get back to you. Thank you. Eh? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Resignation letter. I am through. I am out. Come on, Magnus. I need you. No, Carlo. You don't. I am not going down with you. And I am not going to throw away my good name because of you. When you asked me to be your chief of staff, you told me we were going to have a crusade. We are going to put the bad guys in their place. And for once, let the common man enjoy good governance. But we need time to do this, Magnus. What time? You have been in this office for over six months. And what have you achieved? Petrol now officially sells for 14 naira a liter. The state-owned pineapple farm and poultry, two of the government's most lucrative companies have been privatized against my advice and bought up by the same people we are supposed to flush out. 
your cabinet rich like who is who in the criminal world all the the, the, the project the, the the road and water company started by the, the former government have all stopped for no reason that at all enough, Magnus. that that's not enough the state has been taken over by miscreants and hoodlums and what has the government done i said that is enough magnus i am sure you have heard that the state's quota of fertilizer has disappeared into thin air. How did they get to you, Colonel? How? Huh? Was it money? How did they get you to forget all those promises and lofty ideas that got you into this office? How? You changed, Colonel. You changed. some items that have always been used as political tools. Such items are controlled by the party. Fertilizer is one of them. It is distributed to party stalwarts. Chief, what about the farmers who genuinely need the fertilizer? Now you worry about the party stalwarts who put and keep you on that seat. I should have been told then. I made the promises to the people. Uh, the deputy governor knew. Deputy governor, I am the chief ex executive of this state. Yes. And the deputy governor you talk about is answerable to me. 
He's going to burn for this. No, no, no. Leave him alone. He's a good party man who did what he had to do. Chief, isn't the party concerned about the people? After all, we're, we're nowhere without their votes. Now listen, the people may have the votes, but there are certain powerful people, few of them, who control all those votes. People like Chief Ikem, the former governor of the state, whose grassroots acceptance is unequaled. Madam Abigail, who controls all the market women in this state. Now, you satisfy those few people and you have got the entire electorate. But you make them angry or disenchanted and you are out of the seat. Rubbish. That is rubbish, Chief. And I am fed up with all that talk. Your Excellency, that is the rule of the game. Remember, satisfy those few people at all costs. At the expense of the people? Yes. I say I'm going to see the governor and now What is going on here? Sir, he said he wants to see the governor. And who are you? What is it? I am Dr. James, the chief consultant at the General Hospital. These are the first batch of the drugs you imported for the mother and child free health program. All fake and expired. The women we inoculated today are all dead, Mr. Governor. Dead? Jesus Christ. Only God knows the number of women that have died in other hospitals across the state. Killed, murdered by your heartless administration. An administration that is interested only in stealing and looting, blind to the plight of the masses. The same masses that put you into power. No, no, no. No. But how, how did this happen? This, this can't be true. Then let us go to the general hospital and you will see the dead woman. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say about this. This, this can't be true. But heads will roll for this atrocity. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. That is what we keep hearing. What else do you want to hear, doctor? You have heard the governor. Whether it's a mistake or a deliberate act, this administration must find out. with antitetanus serum imported by the government died today in various government hospitals across the state. At the Central General Hospital alone, nine beds were recorded. The enraged chief consultant of the General Hospital attributed the deaths to fake and expired drugs. In the meantime, the governor, Dr. Kalu Emeze, has promised to do something about the incident. They say that the perpetrators of this dastardly act will surely be brought to bill. Now for some foreign news. Darling, how can this happen? How? I just don't know. Imagine a small project I initiated to help ordinary people. They have also hijacked it. Oh, this is terrible. What are you going to do? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. This, these people are... They, they're just so powerful. Well, you can just stand there and do nothing about this. Sixty pregnant women died in one day! What do you expect me to do? These men are so powerful. It is their state. They are in control. I am, I am the outsider. If I do anything, 
They are just going to impeach me. Rubbish, Kalu! Nonsense! It's been governor so important to you that you sit down and watch innocent people killed by greedy criminals! How could you live with yourself, Kalu? How could you live with this? If you cannot do anything about this, then you better resign. Let us leave without dignity if we still have any left. I never knew you to be a coward. All those days since secondary school it proves you never really get to know a man totally. It is not a question of cowardice, madness. And you know it. Let them have their state and run it in whatever way they want to do it. Their state? So, it is no more your state. What happened to all that zeal and you? What happened to the Kalu Emezi, who was all for fighting oppression wherever it rears its ugly head? I guess it was just a passing phase. It was not, Magnus. And you know it. Why fight a war you cannot win? And how do you know you can't win when you have not tried? Listen, they control the electorate. They control the House of Assembly. They control the markets, the traders, the labor unions. Where do you want me to start fighting from? Where? In all these places you have mentioned exist good people, honest people who are sick and tired of it all too. But they have never had a chance to show it. All they need is a leader, someone to sound a clarion call and they will follow. I believed you were that man. And I still do. Yes. If you throw in the towel now, more children, women, and men will die. Not only from expired drugs, but also from starvation, deprivation, and from many other causes. Only option is to fight. That is the only hope the common man has. You are the only hope for the common man. You 
papá. That's what it should be But they are in it For what they can get out of it mm, oh. Greedy men in high places Looting with impunity They are lovers of themselves Corrupt and rotten yeah. From the bone to the skin Feeding on the flesh of the poor No, no, no How long must we stand and watch The vultures eat up our souls Enough is enough This madness must stop Enough is enough We must stand and That's what it should be But they are in it For what they can get out of it mm, oh. Greedy men in high places Looting with impunity They are lovers of themselves Corrupt and rotten yeah. From the bone to the skin Feeding on the flesh of the poor No, no, no How long must we stand and watch The vultures eat up our souls Enough is enough This madness must stop Enough is enough We must stand and fight for us Enough is enough yeah. We must clean up the system Enough is enough Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We must clean up the system. Enough is enough. Oh, this madness must stop. Good enough morning. Is enough. 
This is the news at 8. Following the incidents of expired and fake drugs, which claimed the lives of over 60 pregnant women in Abubra State, the governor, Dr. Kalu Emezi, has constituted a pro panel to investigate the issues surrounding the incident. The head of the panel is Dr. Nkemka James. The governor has also sacked his entire cabinet in a move he entitled, Enough is Enough. He said that all cases of corrupt practices since the beginning of his administration shall be investigated and those found guilty prosecuted. This panel is headed by Chief Justice Wogu. What rubbish! John! Yes, sir. Drive straight to the NCP office now. Fast! Enough is enough. This madness must stop. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Giving us your word. Yes, sir, uh, Chairman. I am prepared to cooperate and to work for the progress of this party, provided you assure me that you check the excesses of some of our members. No problem. I'll deal with that myself. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Did you hear what your boy has just done? Oh, Chief. Uh, which, which my boy? Your governor, of course. Uh, what did he do? He has sacked all the commissioners and instituted all sorts of boards of inquiries. Oh, my, oh my God. He, he did not discuss this with us. That boy is getting too big for his shoes. If he tries me, I will crush him. I swear, Chief Nigam, we know nothing about this. I am talking to you. Because you promised to keep him on leash. This is preposterous. He has reversed the privatization of the poultry and the pineapple farms. What? Right now, his task force on petroleum products is going around the whole state, seizing petrol from every petrol station. It's hurting the people who contributed money to put him there. Chief, I am sure it's a mistake. It's a mistake. And I'll talk to him. You better talk to him, because we put him there, and we can as well remove him. There will be a meeting tonight at the usual place. Then we will hear from you. suggest that the House tread with caution over this expired drug issue. The governor has already constituted a panel to look into it. I disagree with the speaker. Why should we wait? This matter should not be handled with kid gloves. It could have been our wives. Who says the governor is not guilty and will not seek to hide his complicity in the matter? Honorable Hen at your listening. Party differences must not be brought into every issue. Let us do the path of democracy. Who is talking of party differences here? We want to set our own panel. No, yes. it's not that no it's way. I said something. We it's are not setting up any panel. We have to set our panel. Give this to the DG immediately. How could you? How could you? Good afternoon, Chief. What seems to be the problem? How could you have sacked all the commissioners without consulting the, the party? Are you mad? Have you forgotten how you got there? I haven't forgotten, Chief. 
It's just that right now I remember those people who voted me into this office. What useless people? Chief Ikem and his people are angry. You have hurt them. Now let me advise you. I do not need your advice, Chief. Keep your advice to yourself. I am the chief executive of this state, and I am going to administer it to the best of my ability. Now you go back and tell Chief Ikem and the others that they have not started hurting him. Now I can see you have taken leave of your senses. The party cannot help you now. Not the party. You. I am aware that you have been hiding under the party to enrich yourself. Mm. Now just pray. Pray that your name does not show up on any document concerning abandoned projects. Because I will personally escort you to jail. Now I see that you have really grown wings. <laughs> now let me tell you, my dear boy. I bet you will not last another seven days on this seat. Maybe, Chief. But as long as I remain in this office, things will change. Enough is enough. Now tell your Chief he came and the other criminals like him. Suicide. That is what you have just committed. Suicide. Enough is enough. I just preached the gospel of enough is enough to him. He didn't like it. So, the war is on. Yes, the war is on. Here is a preliminary compilation of a contract abandoned, unfinished. A whole lot of them. I guess the office of the Attorney General is going to be busy for a long time. That's if we are still here. It is not over. Uh, there is enough constitutional ground for impeachment, but the decision has to be taken by the party. As far as the House is concerned, I do not foresee any problem with the implementation. turned his back on the party. Hmm. And so, the party has washed its hands of him. Yes, ah. yes. Good. And we shall encourage and support any move to get him out of office. Dr. Emezi must go. Yes. When the drum beat changes, the dancers change their steps. Uh -huh. It is obvious. And the continuation of Dr. Emezi as the governor of this state spared doom for all of us. But I know that he cannot withstand a combined attack by all of us. Yes. We were here before he came, and we will be here long after he's gone.
suspension of this has been sufficient. Corruption has been the order of the day. If the governor is not guilty, why is he done? What? There's a reason why the house is moving the motion for impeachment. Among other reasons, high handedness, lack of sensitivity, professional misconduct, abuse of office, and most of all, corruption. Mm, we have also set up a committee that I believe will uncover more. Are you in support of this motion? Of course, 100% in support. And so should all well meaning sons of Abubra State. Where is that from? The cream I just brought in in Okwara. security officer to my office now. Also, there's little that goes on in the state that I do not know about. You have helped me in the past, so I have to tell you this. 
the former commissioner for health appeared before the panel today. And the commission now knows that you were behind the importation of those drugs. There's no evidence. They cannot prove anything. Uh, yes, Chief, but the chairman is bent on digging it all up. And he is determined. Hmm. With time, he might just succeed. Can't he be bought off? I don't think so, Chief. What about the other members of the panel? Okay, other members. Uh, let me see. They are not as dedicated. All right. We'll see. Ah. Thank you, Mr. Mosu. Madam, we have never met before. Um, I didn't know whether you would receive me in your shop. I am uh, Reverend Tabo. The governor's right hand man. That's right, madam. The so-called reverend who helped him perpetrate all those crimes? You don't deserve to be called a man of God. All those dead women, innocent pregnant women, You are evil. Now get out of my shop. Madam. I said out! Mrs. Igwe, I am here because I was told that apart from being an influential member of the Market Women's Association, that you are equally honest. Of course I am honest. And that is why I will not be deceived by people who kill pro innocent pregnant women. Madam. There are two sides to every story. All the allegations against Governor Kalu Emezi are lies. What else will he say? What else? Please, Mrs. Igwe. I want you to ask yourself some questions. All these things have been happening and nobody said anything. Why is it now that the governor is bent on investigating those atrocities that they want to impeach him? I ask you. All the so-called big wigs in the state are suddenly crying, blue murder. How come? Please, Mr. Sigwin, in the name of justice and fair play, why don't you listen to our own side of the story before you condemn us? Please, madam. Come in. Thank you, Robert.
What is it? What is it? No, 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 please. No, please. No, no, no. no. members and we expect you to do your duty for the party. Dr. Emezi has conned and insulted us. Yes. If we do not remove him now, he will definitely cause more trouble. What has Dr. Emezi done for any of you since he became governor? Not Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Yes. Nothing. He has been eating all alone. And the moment we try to take a little, he institutes a pro panel. But who imported the fake drugs that ah. killed those women? That is not the question. The question is, who authorized the importation? And we all know the answer to that. His Excellency the Governor, Dr. Carlo Emezi. Yes. Yes. Or the the Deputy Governor, we all know he's a team player. <laughs> yes. A good team player. When he becomes Governor, you will all be rewarded with contracts. Um, Chief, this does not sound too right. I am not too sure I understand why Governor Emis has to be impeached. I don't either. One good turn deserves another. I am sure you have not forgotten how you got into the house. I have done every one of you here present today a good turn in the past. I am still prepared to do more. But I must know where your loyalty lies. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Excellency, we have been waiting for too long, and we would like to leave as soon as possible. Uh, yes, I know. You see, Dr. James, the chairman of the panel investigating the death of the pregnant women, was murdered last night. Murdered? By who? Why? To stall investigations, obviously. But by who? I hope the police finds out. 
Please. That is serious. Yes. Please sit down, gentlemen. Oh. Sit down. Gentlemen, I want to thank you for honoring this invitation. I know we belong to different parties, but I... You are our governor. When you call us, we answer you. Though we might not agree on certain political issues. I am not asking you to agree. But there are certain things I want to explain to you. And I am going to be as brief as possible about that. I hope this is not in connection with the uh, impeachment proceedings. Even an accused has the right to defend himself. In the house, Your Excellency. In the house. Well, gentlemen, these matters go beyond party differences. I have been accused of heinous crimes against this state, our state. And I want you to please hear me out. Now, before I was sworn in as the executive governor of this state. It's a big slight, an insult. After all the money we spent in his campaign, he sacked all our nominees just we should not allow anybody to joke with the Market Women Association. We must throw our full weight behind the impeachment. Yes. <laughs> My fellow Market Women, let us not be blinded by sentiment. Let us look at the facts. And which facts are we talking about? Mm -hmm. All the while the governor allowed things to go bad, Nobody complained. Only the poor man who cannot institute impeachment proceedings. Nobody accused him of being corrupt. But suddenly, something terrible happened. Something that really, really, really touched him. And he says, enough is enough. He sets up a panel of inquiry. He sits up and sets all the commissioners. We all know we are bad in the first place. Is it not obvious that this horrid impeachment moves is to make sure that the panel does not come out with the truth? Who exactly is our friend? It is when we answer that question that we decide where our two UMP foes in the house should go. Is it the governor who set up the panel of inquiry in the first place? Or is this some um, other selfish people who has been plundering the treasury? You know, you just might be right. Mrs. Sigwe. Are you pointing accusing fingers? No, 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 not exactly. Madame Abigail, now you have mentioned it. Why are you hell-bent on leading the Market Women Association against the governor? Tell us. We are the voice of the women in the state. Yes. Must we shut our eyes to the death of 60 pregnant women? Of course not. But is the governor guilty? Did he import the drugs? Or could you be motivated by selfish interests? like the cancellation of the privatization of some government companies which you had already purchased. That's a lie. Who told you so? See. See, my fellow women. See for yourself. And now decide if we should allow the Market Women Association to be used for further operation of the people.
me ASP a move. ASP a move. Will somebody call me ASP a move? Sir, it's the CSO. It's in the scooter, sir. Who came up here today? Nobody, sir. Nobody? Yes, sir. Nobody came up here? Yes, sir. Take a look inside that room. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So, how does the party intend to stop the panel? Time. That is the key. We shall make Odiachi introduce new loyalists onto the panel. And they will cause such confusion that the whole thing will just fizzle out into nothing. I'm finished. Calm down, ah. Calm down. What is it? We've lost two legislators. How is that possible? How? Ah, that bastard, Reverend Tabo. He told my vice president all sorts of rubbish, and that witch believed him. And how does that affect the legislators? She convinced the executive committee to reject my suggestion to support the impeachment move. Jesus Christ. Mm. I shall see the two legislators myself. After all, where would they be without a party? Where would they be without a party? In fact, I'll go and see them now. I have enough facts here to send you to jail for the rest of your life. Do you hear me? And I will not hesitate to use them. Your Excellency, sir, you know, you know I didn't do it for myself. That's not what the books here say. My friend, the evidence here clearly states that you used your office as Commissioner of Health to loot the ministry, not to talk of the fake drugs that you imported. I swear, the contract was awarded. I, I did not ask them to bring fake drugs. Dr. Alusi, who inspected the drugs? You, who approved payment for the drugs? You. Your name is on every piece of paper I have here. Dr. Alusi, you are going to hang. You will hang for this. Your Excellency, sir. Please, please have mercy on me. Please, sir. I want names, Dr. Alusi. Names. The names of those who imported the drugs and the names of all those who collaborated with you in the importation of those drugs. Names, Doctor. Names. Tell the panel everything. Oh, Your Excellency, I will. I will, sir. Well, Chief Justice. It's all yours. That will be wonderful, sir. It is a coup. Get up, Doctor. Get up. Sit down, please. I will fix a panel for next tomorrow, 10 a.m. You better be there.
Are you sure that was what happened? Yes, sir. Chief, if they talk, we are ruined. Relax. They will not talk, at least not in a hurry. But Odiachi must ensure that those boys are promptly released when he gets into power. That is not a problem. Odiachi will do as he's told. Dr. MZ must be impeached. Otherwise, we are doomed. God, what a mess. Relax. He will go. Henry. Sir. I want you to disappear with that car. Lie low until after the impeachment tomorrow. Now, go. Yes, sir. Fellow citizens of Abubra State, we are all aware of the political turmoil that has engulfed our state in the past few weeks. I am not afraid of impeachment, but I want to set the record straight. You voted me into power, and you deserve an explanation. I left a lucrative medical practice in the United States of America and I came to serve you, my people. I was sickened by all the news of corruption and official thievery that we kept hearing about, and I came home to change all that. Luckily, you voted me as your governor. Right from the beginning of this administration, we have been coerced and threatened into silence. I am guilty in that I allowed myself to be coward. For that, accept my apology. 
But they went too far when their insatiable lust for money led them to importing fake drugs which has now claimed the lives of 60 innocent pregnant women. My heart was broken. My eyes were opened. My first thought was to resign. But then again, I thought that will be leaving you at their mercy. That will be shattering the last redemption for the masses. I stood my ground. And for that, I stand trial today. For that, I and my loved ones have been maligned. My chief of staff, Reverend Magnus Tagbo, lies in hospital today, fighting against death from an assassin's bullet. People of Abubra State, it has just come to my notice that an account was opened for me by some unscrupulous elements who claim to have been paying kickbacks to me. I have never been aware of such an arrangement and I have therefore reported the matter to the police. In the meantime, part of the over 400 million found in this account will be used as compensation to the families of the deceased pregnant women. The rest will be paid back into government coffers. People of Abubra State, you voted me into power as your governor. If you ask me to leave, I will. Thank you, and God bless Abubra State. Almighty Father, be with us throughout this deliberation in Jesus' name. They are just about to begin. Does uh, anybody else have something to say before we move the motion to impeach the governor? Yeah? You're not fit to move. Well, I'm here. You should have stayed in the hospital, Magnus. And leave you here all alone. <laughs> no way. You might do something stupid. <laughs> Thanks, Magnus. Okay, I'm glad to be here. Oh. How are you feeling? Oh, well, I have felt better before. But I will leave. Oh, Reverend, I'm so sorry. I just heard this morning. It's all right. Thank you. We well, thank God. We thank God. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, They're just about to begin. Yes, thank you. Yes. Um, right, yes. okay. The voting pattern shall be by voice votes. Those against, say nay. Those in support, see ye. Uh, clock. Mr. Speaker. Let the voting begin. Honorable Ago. Yeah. Honorable Mobweze. Yeah. Honorable Eliazo. Honorable Nganga. Yeah. Honorable Anya. Yeah. Honorable Eke. Yeah.
Honorable Akunne. Yes. Honorable Chidi. Yes. Honorable Grigory. Yes. This is eight to one. <laughs> We've got the bastard. <laughs> Just three more votes. <laughs> Honorable Ude. Nay. Honorable Enyi. Honorable Obuago. Yeah. Honorable Obi. Yeah. Honorable Amobi. Ne. Yeah. Honorable Nkume. Ne. Yeah. Honorable Isiuzo. Honorable Ihenacho. Ne. Honorable Njoko. Ne. Honorable Ike. Ne. Just one more boat. One more boat. Listen, we have the speaker. So, even if there is a tie, we have the speaker. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. 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 Honorable members, we have a tie here. Ten against and ten for. Mr. Speaker, sir, it's up to you now. It's all over. I guess we should just start packing. Ah, but why? It's a tie. It all depends on the speaker. And I know him. He hates my guts. See? Come on. Say it, you bastard! Come on! Nah. Hey. Eleven against ten for the motion has failed. Dr. Carlos Emezie remains the executive governor of Abobra Strait. We did it! We did it! Until it is over. <laughs>